In this module, you will learn to describe the linear relationship between depth and pressure, to define hydrostatic pressure and how to calculate it, the importance of true vertical depth, TVD, and how the hydrostatic pressures in different sections of a well add to determine bottom hole pressure. Let's continue our experiments from Module 2 with our 1 inch, 1 pound metal cube. Again, remember that we are using an unrealistically heavy material to simplify calculations. The principles still hold true. Because the cube weighs one pound and the bottom surface area is one square inch, the pressure at the bottom of the cube is one pound per square inch. So, if we put a second cube on top of the first, our height and weight will double. Calculate the pressure at the bottom of the stack. We know that the weight of the stack is 2 pounds. We also know that the area at the bottom of the stack is 1 square inch. So the pressure at the bottom of the stack now equals 2 psi. Now let's add 3 more cubes to the stack. That's 5 altogether, which means that the stack now weighs 5 pounds. So the pressure at the bottom of the stack is 5 psi. And when the stack is 10 cubes high, the pressure at the bottom is 10 psi. When we use the solid cubes to define pressure, we see that pressure equals weight or force per unit area. In our experiments with the cubes, the unit of pressure we used was pounds per square inch. We calculated pressure by dividing the weight of the stack of cubes by the surface area at the bottom. In a well, we are dealing with fluids under pressure liquids and gases, not solids like our cubes. So now we need to see how pressure 